Hey, this is Scott from Church Tech Talks, and today I want to talk about lighting software, and specifically I want to talk about LightKey. LightKey is a free software up until about 24, I believe, channels of DMX, but you can download it today. It's Mac only, so be aware of that. But one thing I love about this software is, is that number one, it's free. You can download it, play with it right now. Um, but number two is it's just easy to use and you don't need to spend all this money on a big lighting console. So let's dive right in. So this is LightKey 2's website. Uh, you can see they have download by license. You can expand, uh, obviously, to more channels. And they have multiple universes even that you can get. Now you do need a USB adapter to use this. So you need USB to DMX. But luckily they have a list on their website of all the supported ones. Um, and they're pretty cheap. I, I think you can get a, a single one for, I think, 70, 80 bucks. So anyways, diving right in. So here's what it looks like once you have it all set up. Um, now, you can see that we have a few buttons already programmed down here in our live view. And this is what our volunteer operators are using. So when I teach someone how to run lighting, this is all they see, this is all they need, these are the buttons that I've set up for our weekend service um, that are completely customizable. You can set up any live thing you want. And if you click this drop down right here, you actually can see that we have multiple different setups. So if I click on Awana, now we've got a completely different button setup for Awana that they can use, including my favorite everybody dance now button. So one thing I love about LightKey is they have a fixture library. So if we click this button up here, it's going to take us into that fixture library. As you can see, we have kind of our map here. We have a second universe with a lot of our house lights on it. We have our hazer on it and we have some blinders down here. Let's say we wanted to add a light though. So let's say we bought a new, I don't know, uh, color band T3 USB and we wanted to add that into our scene. Um, we can see all the channels of DMX we have open here. So let's put it on channel 200. So we just drag it out, drop it. It's on channel 200. Maybe we bought two of these and we can say we have two. Uh, maybe we, don't, we want to patch consecutive fixtures. So we want to patch uh, two consecutive fixtures, right? So we can just do that, patch it. And as soon as we click done, it's gonna drop these new fixtures that we just added into our bird's eye view and we can place those wherever they are in our church. We're gonna go back to our normal control panel. This is for our Sunday morning services. So um, we have house lights, house lights set and then the dims for those. So if I wanna take our house lights down uh, to 80%, I just click that button. I let the transition happen. And then what, as soon as that transition is done, I'm gonna uncheck the 100% transition. So the reason we have a set is because these lights are LED. Um, and LED lights, uh, they have multiple parameters. So we have a color setting. We have a, a, a bunch of different settings. And I can show you if I select one of these lights, uh, this up here is sort of a bird's eye view of all of your fixtures. You can arrange this however you want. It's completely customizable. But if I click one of our house lights here, I can click the, uh, all these back here, and I click on the design view, I'm going to see all of the options available to me. So we have a dimmer here that I can use to turn the dim up or down. I can set the color of the light because this is a full LED light, it's RGBW I believe. And then I have a cool white that I can blend in. So we have a lot of different options here. And if I select all of those, right click, just click clear properties, it's gonna go back to what I had it set on the live view. So it's really customizable, like I said, I can select whatever light I want. So let's say I wanted to take these lights, right? And I wanted to go into our design view and let's right click on them and select a position and I want them all facing just forward, sort of like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna turn their brightness up. Now I'm gonna set a color, let's say red. Uh, maybe I want a little cool white in there to make sort of a pink color. Um, let's say these ones have a zoom feature on them. So let's zoom them, let's tighten that zoom up. You can see in our camera facing the stage right now, that we have these four lights that are lighting up the stage. Now I can click on any one of them individually and change its position manually. Maybe I wanted that one a little bit higher. We want to create a, a pink wall wash with the, these lights. And so I'm going to click on each one, changing their position to kind of create that pink wall wash where I want it. Just like that. We're going to go to the fourth one, set its position. And there we go. 
And maybe we want these to be a little bit more washed out, so we'll select all of them, we'll go to their zoom, and it will widen that up a bit, just to really wash that back wall out. So you have a lot of control here, and if we wanted to set a preset for this, maybe we want to recall this, just click the little plus button up here, it's going to make a preset for it, so we can say, hey, that's a pink wall wash. And that's our preset right here. Click it on, click it off, done. Now if we want to go in our live view, maybe we want to make a button for that for our operators. We can just drag that, drop it, and that's it. Um, if we want to make a transition so it's a bit smoother, we can go into options and set a fade in time, maybe a fade out time. Um, and now we have, you know, five second fade in time, fade out time, click done. Now I can delete that button just by going to the edit view and clicking delete and clicking done. That's it. Now what I like to do is I like to separate out the sets from the dims. And by that I mean I want to set the position and the color separate from the actual bringing up the brightness of the light itself. Um, so I can show you that with this. Right now we have a worship preset. This is sort of the, the lighting we run for worship. And uh, when our pastor comes up after worship he's going to pray and then he's going to go into the sermon. What I can do is I can uncheck the dim. Once those are dimmed, it's going to take about four seconds because that's what I have the fade in, fade out set to. Um, then I can uncheck the worship set and I'll click on the sermon set. Once I click on that, it's going to take, I think I have it set to a second to get into position. Uh, and then I'm going to click the sermon dim and that is going to bring up the brightness on the sermon preset that I've made. Now, these buttons aren't just tied to one preset. You can click on this edit button add a button here, name it whatever you want, and you can assign multiple presets to that cue. So let's call this cue, uh, you know, let's call this cue uh, example cue. And if I double click on it, then I can go into the contents and I can drag in multiple presets here. And I can set my fade in time for both of those, fade out time for both of those, done. And then when I click off of that, it's going to fade out in two seconds. And when I click on, that's going to fade in in two seconds. So anyways, guys, that's Light Key. It's super simple. Um, you can use this for free up to 24 channels of DMX. Like I said, um, you will need a USB to DMX adapter, um, but it, it's a great app. It, I can't see us outgrowing it. And I think it's a great way to start your kind of looking into controllable lighting in your house of worship. Um, and if you don't have lights that are DMX controllable, I'd recommend you check out Monoprice. They make some really actually great LED lights that are fully controllable. They're, some of them are just a hundred bucks a fixture and they're RGB, AWUV, which is red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV bulbs all in that thing, which is gonna give you a huge array of colors that you can create out of just a single hundred dollar fixture. Um, they're pretty dang bright too, so check them out. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll also put the link for light key in the description below. And uh, maybe you even have a house lighting console and you just want to simplify it for your for your volunteers this is a killer way to do that so check it out let me know what you guys think and uh until next time i'm scott take care